this is a focus on global warming and climate change and the main question that we're asking ourselves is planet earth safe weather related disasters in 2007 the year 2007 saw a record number of weather-related disasters for which the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs issued 14 emergencies, four more appeals than the previous record set in 2005. Listed here are some of the disasters that occurred in 2007. Keep in mind, of course, the individual events do not necessarily indicate a long-term trend. Britain. More than 350,000 people were affected by the worst flooding in the 60 years. England and Wallace saw the wettest May to June since record keeping began in 1766. West Africa. Floods affected 800,000 people in 14 countries. Lesotho. High temperatures and drought destroyed crops. Some 553,000 people may require food aid still up to date. Sudan. Torrential rains left 150,000 people without shelter. At least 500,000 received aid. Madagascar. Cyclones and heavy rains lashed the island, displacing 33,000 people and destroying the crops for 260,000. North Korea. An estimated 960,000 were severely hit by the widespread flood, flooding, landslides, and mudslides. Bangladesh. Flooding affected 8.5 million people and killed over 3,000 as well as 1.25 million farm animals. Nearly 1.5 homes, million homes were either damaged or destroyed. India. Floods affected 30 million people. Pakistan. Cyclone rains left that 377,000 people displaced and hundreds dead. Bolivia. More than 350,000 were affected by flooding and 25,000 were displaced. Mexico. Regional flooding at least 500,000 homeless and affected more than a million. Dominica Republic. Prolonged heavy rainfall caused floods and landslides, displacing 65,000. United States Fire across tender dry Southern California forced 500,000 residents to free their homes. Now, those were weather-related disasters that occurred in 2007. Now, we are in year 2022. Now, how is climate today? Yes, now the package has taken a new move. It's a revolution, bringing you the best of everything good. I am your captain, Monique Kinjogu, covering stories from all over the world and trendings, fashion, entertainment, education, uh -huh. and also in this digital revolution, being the 21st century, much knowledge exposed to young and unaware minds. Oh my God, science and technology is not an issue to forget growth and development and lots and lots of more upcoming stories related to this new digital world now this channel has been created for the enlightenment of the entire family i'm talking about the worldwide family shows how to cope with today's problem it reports news tells people about various and many lands and occurrences examines religion and science but it does more it probes beneath the service and pinpoints to the real meaning behind the current events. Yet it always stays politically neutral and does not exalt one race above the other. It's the package. Mm. And most importantly, this channel builds the confidence in the creator's promise of a peaceful and secure new world that is about to replace the present wicked and lawless system kind of thing. It's on the 28th of March 2022. Welcome on board. Now, let us sail together. Now, many believe and predict that around them, uh, 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 on the ground, how things are, people think that the co-living and the existence of their own is just something normal. Now, join me in this journey of exploring life on Earth. And we are going to be focusing on planet Earth. 
Now, planet Earth, people actually ask themselves, is it in Merrill? I've just read you an article about how the temperatures uh, in 2007, there were related disasters that caused a lot of uh, damage. Now, in the next about one minute, two minutes to three minutes, uh, we need to know whose hands Earth is in. Now, the future of Earth, where does it belong? Because we all have to talk about our own future. Like your future as Bonfast Moniki, your future as whoever, your future as the other person. What about the earth, the one that we are inside it? Uh, beyond the reach of science, because even science has not been able to define what completely is this. But I am assured of that it is where life is only supported earth. Now, as I conclude, I'll read something here a little bit that global warming presents the great test test we humans have yet faced the october edition of the national geographic that is a paper if we are to meet that challenge successfully said the magazine we need to move quickly and decisively and with ama uh, and with a maturity we've really shown as a society or as a species we will such maturity rise for the force Working against it are many factors, apathy, greed, ignorance, vested interest, the scramble for the world and developing lands, and businesses as usual philosophy of millions. Look at how the world is busy, hmm? chasing after cash, money, land, eh? popularity, things that do not even benefit. Oh my god, look at how people are busy, even in our streets, just displaying something here. This is my town where I come from, Yahoo. I'm, being, I'm showing you some of the activities that take place daily. Mm, people are so much concerned and worried about their own life. They don't care about where they are doing what, carrying on their own life. This says that upper the grid business and unusual philosophy of millions who want to maintain a high energy consuming lifestyle. An ancient prophet of God gives us a realistic appraisal of our capacity to solve our ethical, social, and governmental problems. Look, let's continue. Mankind's tragic history underscores those words. And today, although armed with significant developments in science and technology, look at how the world is today, operating like fingertips. Everything is on the hand of man. Like, you can even listen to me when you are in America. That is not a wonder. It is not a miracle. It is through technology. Human, how you are doing things, it is wanting. Now, technology, we are faced with previously unimagining, un unimaginable dread. So how confident can we be that tomorrow will be better? Ask yourself that question. That is where we are ending today's episode. I have been your host, Monique Njogu. Join me next time as we talk about beyond the reach of science. We need to awake. This is the part right on this channel of YouTube. Remember to subscribe on that video. is a conjunction of words and activities happening around our country, Kenya. The country we love most. The country we are going to head to the future with. Even into that promising future, we are going to be told, oh my God, you lived in Kenya by God there when we meet. Anyway, I want to big up these few people, the Moneki family, I mean family one, and the other, all the other people who are tuned. Actually, we are moving in a very good direction. All those 152 subscribers and 153 subscribers, 154, you are adding one, one, one after another. Thank you so much. God be with you. Now, this is a focus on global warming and climate change. And the main question that we're asking ourselves is planet Earth safe? Bye-bye.